Hello there. So I'd like to start out this video just by saying, welcome to my shop. That on its own is such a crazy thing to say because I've wanted something like this for such a long time now. So I'm sure you can tell by the cars behind me, this is not completely my own space. I'm splitting the cost of this with my friends, but something I need to get done right now is some more work on a Mazda 3. So of course, let's get straight into it. Snap on here, right? Yeah, I'm seeing sure your suspension. Uh, I got the Raceland Ultra. Right here. So, I think I'll be back tomorrow to finish this up. come back to this because I broke the knuckle I made it all the way down to the wheel bearing itself and I was about to press that out when the knuckle cracked on the 12 ton press so that's really disappointing I'll have to put the silver Mazda 3 on pause for now honestly I thought this was gonna take a day to get done but uh, looks like we're going on to day number three Clip's gone from the brake line. God damn, bro. Gone as in fell or gone as just not as in, here? like not here. <laughs> well, actually. Oh, 
this half is disconnected. That's crazy. Oh, the caliper's split in two? Yeah, what the f*** is it? Damn. Right oh, sick. Oh, that's so easy. <laughs> I need that from the start. It should pop up. Damn, that's such is... a weird design, right? Yeah. You just been refilling that? Decision making, yeah. But the the urge to take this car to New York City resulted in you taking the knuckle off your running car. This car barely runs. All right, <laughs> let's be. It made it here. It made it here after a jump start, a fender liner pull. <laughs> oh, I didn't pull it. <laughs> it pulled itself out. <laughs> so a couple of bottoms. This car used to sit here for a while, anyways. So I'm not too worried. And now we take it. Yeah, and we put it on this one. <laughs> 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 uh, Wanna clean it up at all or maybe it has this? Dude, I don't give a shit about this car. <laughs> I just need it to run. So I just don't want to take the train, okay? <laughs> That's how bad NJ Transit is. I'd rather do this. <laughs> and like that. It's got a little nut you gotta put on the back side. That's why uh, I didn't drive it last week. Well, I can just take the caliper out, and then I can throw a socket on here and just blast it off. Look at that. Yeah, that's a bubble flare, so the internet lied to me, said it was a double. Just this piping snapped right there. I think it's only slightly acidic, you know, brake uh, fluid. I have just enough space to do this. It looks like it's working. It's not that hard to do. It just takes forever. Brand new car right there. You see that shit? I did it in one day. Throw the bracket back on. So today I managed to get all of my cars here to the shop. I finally got some plates for 
our weight setup over here. So now I really have no excuses to not be at the shop at all times. So today I have the shop to myself, so it's probably a good time to talk about what is going on with my Mazdas behind me. Also at the time of recording this, I have hit 796 subscribers. So yeah, it's just crazy to me. It's almost 800 subscribers. It's not even halfway through the year. I am working really hard to try and get more Mazda Speed content out, um, but it just takes so long. I do work full time, so all this stuff that you're seeing is just what I'm doing in my free time. But yeah, part of that is uh, things just don't go as expected. Uh, it's now Tuesday, and a week ago on Monday is when I tried to just do a wheel hub bearing on that silver Mazda 3. That's not the Speed 3. So let's see what happened. I pulled the car in, got the steering knuckle out. We had to build the 12 ton press to even attempt to press out that wheel bearing. We got the spindle out, and we were pushing on that bearing, and it cracked the knuckle. So what I thought would be uh, a somewhat easy one day job. Alrighty, now I have to go order new parts and it already turned into a one week job. I brought the Speed 3 here, ripped out that knuckle, wanted to go put that steering knuckle in the silver Mazda. I was almost done until I dropped my brake caliper and I completely messed up the brake line. That set me back another couple of days. I had to get the right flaring tool for it. I had to get the fittings and I had to reflare it and get the brake caliper bled. So to bleed the brake calipers, I had to jack up all four corners of the car, take the wheels off, and now with the car fully in the air, it started leaking oil. So it started leaking from where the engine and transmission meet up, so that is the rear main seal. And this is all not even on the Speed 3, this is on my reliable uh, daily driver. So that's why things are just taking so long. So I guess that's all I have to say is don't buy a Mazda 3. Uh, some other things I did, um, I put in that exhaust that came with the car. It was the OBX Racing, OBXR exhaust. Just on jack stands, it's so hard to record. I didn't get much footage of that. So let's just cut to when I have the silver Mazda car done and then I can move on and work on the Speed 3 again. I'm trying again. Piece of shit, <clears throat> I mean, uh, I'm having lots of fun doing car stuff. Subscribe. Brand new OEM knuckle. No. No? Yeah, it's just tilting more on this side. I, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No? Yeah. Center and push. From this angle, it's good. Yeah, that, that's fine then. Good. Oh yeah, we're straightening out. And we're going straight, baby. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Holy shit. It's actually going in? After all this time. Yeah, well, only like an hour. Oh, and two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> and pull apart two cars, right? Pull apart two cars, spend two weeks, a couple hundred dollars, bar 12 ton press, and it's just that easy. It's like 2.9. Good so far. Oh, look at that. Uh -oh. What? <gasps> oh no. <gasps> no. I did it on the wrong thing. I put this disc on. I was supposed to put a smaller disc on. No way. Yep. I barely f up. Oh man. That just work? <laughs> yeah, because like that's how they assemble it. All right, I'm fucking done for the day. But uh, yeah, I got some new stuff for the shop. This is my new studio light. So the one I've, I've been using behind me was uh, originally in my bedroom and that's okay for like a small space. Uh, but in such a large warehouse like this one, uh, I need an upgrade. So let's see how bright this light is compared to my old one. <laughs> 60 watt versus the 300 watt light, it's crazy. All right, so I think I'm finally ready to start putting the steering knuckle back into the Speed 3. 
everything's pressed in and brand new. So at some point in the future, I'll have to do uh, a full suspension rebuild because things in here look pretty rough. It's on Raceland coilovers, which I'm not too happy about. A lot of the bushings and boots are torn, but that's something I'll have to come back to at a later time. How long has it been sitting here? Uh, don't ask questions. <laughs> Oh, sh**. What? I just got the detachable sway bar link mod. That's so cool. That is nuts. You just pop that back in, no problem. You got it. That felt like it. Is the nut on the socket? Yeah. That's not sliding no. in. I might have to open this collar up. Jorkin the f axle. <laughs> What's your torque spec? Two impact. I got it. Look at that. Oh, I mean, it's mostly back to together. We can actually go and drive it. That's crazy. Maybe. Big rotor for big breaking. Big breaking. Look at that. Brand new rotor. Is it? For the beat right now. Ah, fucking dead. <laughs> uh, like the edges. That looks fine. Why is my phone up? Don't remember how to do this. This is like so difficult from the YouTube videos. This is the first time that something was actually easier than I thought it would be. Uh, yeah, that was not that hard. Unless I did it wrong, then uh, it's not my fault. I'll put the spacer back on for now, just because I don't want to have to take it off from the other side. But I'll just anti-seize the shit out of it, because it is it rusted on so badly last time. record for a wheel bearing job. Not the fastest world record, because that took me three weeks. So, I this car, man. <laughs> That's how you break uh, two Mazda 3s and how you fix the wheel hub bearing on two Mazda 3s. So I think this is a new record. Yeah, thank you for watching. This is my new shop. More is going to come to the Speed 3 and I'll actually get some engine stuff done. But uh, this, this video took like three weeks, so we're going to have to end it there. So thank you.